And you'll tell me about your rocket. Ah, uh, well, the, the rocket itself is made up of kind of like two different sizes of body tubes because the top, the top of it is wider to, to let the eggs fit, fit in at a, at a T-shape. And then the bottom, we have a wee transition part, which makes it like go into a narrow, a narrow bottom, which we think goes a bit better. And yeah, it's maybe a wee bit more aerodynamic. I it would, it would be a wee bit, yeah. And Zach, can you tell me more about the challenge and what you're actually asked to be doing? So we have to get the rocket to go to a certain height and for a certain time. It has to go to 850 feet. If you go lower or higher, you'll lose points. And it has to go up in the air for 44 to 46 seconds. And it also has to hold two eggs in a T-shape and they have to survive when it comes back down to land. Now we have two teams with us today. We have eight boys in total and two rockets. And what would it mean to your teams to win? Well, we won two years ago, so we know what it's like to win. We were uh, completely outsiders. It was our first time in the competition two years ago. It was a big shock to win, but we were delighted to win. We were fortunate and we were delighted to win. And uh, we would just love to represent, I suppose, Northern Ireland in the finals again. Perfect. 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 Fantastic. Well done, guys. <laughs> Can you tell me about your rocket? So our rocket works off a cluster of free motors rather than the, uh, the traditional one so as it, we can hopefully get it up to the target height. Our eggs are protected by a polystyrene block which has been moulded around them. Hopefully this will protect them and we won't have scrambled eggs. And you've done one launch so far. What preparations and what changes have you made for the second one? Well, during the first launch, our parachute completely came off and the eggs broke due to it. So we've put a protection to make sure the parachute doesn't burn off this time so the eggs don't smash when we hit the ground. Fantastic. And how confident are you feeling this time around? Um, we're feeling very confident now with the changes we've made. So hopefully the parachute to deploy properly. Um, get a good score. Wow. <laughs> wow! -y. Oh God, slow down. No parachute. Slow down. No parachute. Oh yeah! They actually survived. Hey. <laughs> well done. So you've just finished your second flight. Can you tell us how you feel? Oh, it's amazing. The thrill of seeing the rocket launch properly and go up into the air at that speed and at that height. It's just amazing. Um, and also to see it come down like it did perfectly and the parachutes launch and um, deploy properly. It's just amazing. It's a brilliant, brilliant experience. And how long have you been working on this project? Um, well, we a lot of after school sessions and lunchtime sessions, so about three to four months. Incredible, guys. Thank you very much. Um, you get successes, you get significant failures, um, and you get a lot of very happy youngsters. They learn a lot, and in fact, they probably learn far more through their mistakes than they do through getting it right. Simply because if it goes up and nothing goes wrong, fine. But if it goes up and something goes wrong, you then have to work out why. And what did you think of today? Today was fantastic. It was fun. It really was fun. It's great to see the kids so excited, but they're solving real engineering problems. So that's that's key. You can hear the buzz in the background. Fantastic. Wow. 
¡Wow, güey! 